Oh, welcome everyone, and to uh, some who have been following the channel, which is that many, this might come as a surprise, but I am actually going to do what I said to do. I might go back to Harley Quinn and finish those reviews. I'm actually kicking around what I'm going to do with those. But, at the last, end of the last video, with about Judge Dredd, I said I'm going to do Superman 3. This time, and I'm going to do it. Um, I just wanted to take a moment and talk about this, because I thought, I, I don't remember this movie. Alright, I've seen it a very, very few times. Um, like, I couldn't even. Um, basically, um, from the description I've read, I do remember there's a supercomputer. Richard Pryor is a supposed to be like a super hacker, or about as like you can get from the 80s. And um, Superman is facing off against a business tycoon who's not Lex Luthor. Um, now, here's what I think. I, this, basically, this movie goes from the more serious take on Superman, where in Superman 1 and Superman 2, and if I remember right, I, honestly, if I'm remembering right, it really missed some opportunities, I think. This could have been a really good movie to have introduced um, Brainiac to the large, to the bigger population, the more, the general audience. Um, between the supercomputer that, you know, Brainiac, that could have been Brainiac, or hell, in a twist, maybe the Richard Pryor character could have been um, Brainiac in disguise. Um, that's neither here nor there now, so, um, yeah, I, uh, so this, like I said, I haven't seen this movie in a long time, so I have no idea what I'm going, what to expect from this, so, we'll see how this goes along as we watch me slowly dip into either insanity or whatever, so, yeah. Should be a neat trip. So we're 15 minutes in, and so far we're introduced immediately to Richard Pryor's character, Gorman. Um, I had to put on subtitles because I thought it was Corbin, which is the name of um, Metallo. I thought they were saying John Corman, but I forget what his first name is, but his last name is Gorman. Um, he's basically a bum who's, um, on his last, last, um, unemployment check, and he needs a job. Well, he decides he's going to go into, um, computer programming, and he finds out that he's kind of a whiz at it without much or any, um, experience. Uh, so he starts to work at... He gets a job at the villain's, uh, I can't remember what the villain's name is, they do mention, they do say it in the, um, some of the Superman scenes, but I can't remember what it is. But, one thing, already off the bat is, this thing's taking a huge tone shift. Like, I, I had to, like, seriously, I had to, um... There's a scene with a blind, blind guy just walking around. I really had to keep telling myself, this isn't Popeye, the movie Popeye with Robin Williams. Um, it's just... But it would have worked so well in that movie, and it feels, to me at least, it feels so out of place in this. Like, I... I it had me going, why is this in here? This is... 
Like I said, I haven't seen this movie in so long, so the tone shift completely caught me off guard. Um, I mean, we go from him trying to match wits with Lex Luthor, who wants to destroy all of um, California with a um, nuclear device, to and battling General Zod, who wants to take revenge on what something his father did to him, to suddenly him wanting to do a news report on going to a his class reunion, um, which is basically, as he puts it, can a country boy who went to the city come back and acclimate to being into country? country. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know, it caught me off guard, it really did.